Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, it's a warm and muggy night out there tonight after our day five of a heat wave. We're looking at potentially day six tomorrow. Temperatures look to get well into the 90s once again. Let's take a look outside. Certainly not that warm out there, but it's certainly still warm. Uh, temperatures in Providence actually right around 80 degrees even after 11 o'clock this evening so you get the idea it's going to be a warm night which means tomorrow is going to be another hot one coming our way you can see temperatures upper 70s feels like 82 degrees right now outside that's when you factor in the heat and the humidity and uh, you can see the dew points there in the 70s that tropical air mass still in place live radar overall locally we're mainly dry and i think we're going to stay that way but there's a couple showers to our north but notice these keep uh, losing those colors of the yellows and reds and oranges that means that they are weakening so that's what we're looking at a weakening line of showers coming through maybe a sprinkle that's about it favoring northern areas too uh, temperatures in the 70s all across the board still on the warm side though in taunton and providence nearing 80 even smithfield 77 degrees still uh, quite warm out there for this late at night Heat alert, heat advisory in effect for Tuesday until 8 p.m. for all of Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, excluding Block Island and Nantucket. Still very warm, though, even along the coast, looking at low to mid 80s there. And uh, when you get away from the shoreline, looking at a more like uh, mid 90s coming our way tomorrow, let's look at this uh, heat wave five days and counting, mid 90s all across the board. And tomorrow's forecast 94 degrees is what we're saying for tomorrow. So, again, another toasty one on the way before finally some relief. Satellite and radar, uh, overall, we're looking dry and quiet, but. High pressure off the coast has been giving us this hot and humid air for the last several days. And what I'm watching is actually this cold front off to our west. This will help push this hot and humid air out of here and also give us a chance of some storms tomorrow afternoon and evening. And uh, this is Tuesday severe threat, a low threat marginal uh, level one. But you can see the dark green shading there that indicates that some of those storms that form could you know, be on the stronger side and bring some gusty winds and heavy rain tomorrow afternoon. So let's time things out overnight. Temperatures in the 70s are really not going to be too uh, bad overall, dry. But things warm up quickly on Tuesday, already looking at 80s by 7 o'clock in the morning. And by 10 o'clock, we're already looking at temperatures even hotter than that, uh, low 90s in spots away from the water. And that means during the afternoon, looking at mid-90s across the board for interior sections. And that means we're going to be looking at some storms coming in for the afternoon. They will help to cool things off a bit, though, as they come through during the evening hours. You can see those darker reds, yellows, and oranges coming through. Temperatures drop back into the 70s, so quite a bit of a change of temperatures once those storms do roll through. And then we uh, look to see some more showers tomorrow night uh, as we head into uh, Wednesday as well. Seven-day forecast. Again, we're tracking those showers coming through some storms as well on Tuesday afternoon and evening. That breaks the heat. Showers linger Wednesday into Thursday. Temperatures, though, staying in the low 80s all the way through the end of the week into the weekend. Low humidity, too. So a nice end of the week into the weekend forecast coming up with seasonable conditions.